Hello, Oro Naz family. This is Pastor Dar, and um, this is our midweek refresh. And I'd like to just start by saying thank you, Jesus, for a great Sunday of celebrating, again, the baptisms of um, three people in our church. And uh, as I thought about the baptisms today, I was reminded of what Nancy said in her testimony when she said she liked to... Um, get away and close her door and be with her father in heaven. Um, Jesus reminded us that in scripture, um, that we should pray that way, that we should get away, just like Jesus did. He got away, left the house, and um, tarried, waited on what his father had for him. And um, you might remember when Jesus asked his disciples to come with him uh, when he was in the garden praying before he was crucified. He asked them to come and pray and watch. And um, when he kept checking on them, they had fallen asleep. And he said, could you not tarry for an hour? And um, today in our staff meeting, Pastor Travis was asking some, some great questions about our time with the Lord and um, being still before him and what gets in the way of us waiting on the Lord. And um, to tarry really does mean to abide and to wait in expectation. Um, and, and so we had to think about what keeps us from, uh, waiting on the Lord and being still before him. Um, a lot of times for me, it's that I'm not, um, you know, silent enough. Um, I get distracted, I get busy, think I have to do other things first, and then one thing leads to the next, to the next, and then distractions become priority. And, um, and then the time with the Lord gets, uh, cut short. And so it was so good today to be hearing each other's stories and um, able to hold each other accountable and just love each other through our struggles of tarrying with the Lord and being still before him. We know that Elijah, um, when he was still before the Lord, um, the Lord said, you know, Elijah, I'm not speaking through the earthquake or the fire or the wind, um, but he came in a gentle whisper. And we won't hear that whisper if we are not silent if we're not quiet and still. Um, the word silent, if you unscramble those letters, actually will make the word listen. And so it uh, just reminds me that we really can't listen well until we get silent and still before the Lord um, and wait on him. That's hard and it takes practice, but um, we'll miss out on the great things God has for us if we are not uh, attuned to his voice. And we know we can hear his voice through his word, through each other, um, because the Holy Spirit lives in us. And it just might be that someone speaks something and it's really for you. An example of that is on Sunday, um, I, I was demonstrating to the kids how to speak to Jesus um, using different letters from the alphabet. And so the letter was L and I, I said, Jesus, you are love. And I talked to Jesus right in front of them because he's there, he's always with us. And, and they um, listened, and then I said, does anyone think that the Lord might want to say something back to me? And um, they said, maybe you've had a thought. The Holy Spirit can speak to us in our thoughts, and we want to test those things. And one little girl raised her hand, and she said, I think he'd want to say to you that you are his. And I, I was like, wow, that morning, I actually had journaled a prayer that I pray, and it says, I am yours and you are mine. And it was such a sweet reminder to me through that little girl that I am the Lord's and he sees me and he knows me. And so if I hadn't tarried that morning and spent time with the Lord, I think I would have missed that beautiful moment of him speaking through a child to me. And so um, just be encouraged today that the Lord wants you to spend time with him alone, just like Jesus got away alone with his father in the midst of all the distractions he wants us to do the same today so lord help us we we want the best that you have for us we want to uh, listen carefully to your voice and um, and get better at hearing you through your word speaking to us lord personally we want to get better at hearing your voice through people um, all around us and know when it's a lie or when it's truth or when it's just not for us and also lord through your uh, Holy Spirit speaking in our thoughts. When we get a thought, Lord, we want to take it captive to you and make it obedient to you. 
And so Jesus, help us all to do that um, and remind us that um, you've done wondrous things and we can be still today and know that you are God. God bless you. Have a great rest of your week. And um, let's um, ask each other when we see each other how your time with the Lord has been and if you've been able to tarry an hour with him this week. God bless you.